My name is Jeffrey Thompson, and I'm a cinematographer and photographer from St. Augustine, Florida. I actually stumbled into photography through filmmaking and documentary, and I love telling stories and capturing those types of moments, so I wanted to see if I could implement those cinematic techniques into photography. Well, the city I come from, it's, it's a small fishing town called St. Augustine, Florida, and one of the unique things about that place is it, it's just like this small, bustling, very simple town, and I, I absolutely love that simplicity and I wanted to see if I could carry it over into the energy that New York has and I absolutely love the, just the, the hustle and bustle and I wanted to see if there are ways that I could implement this simplistic lifestyle into the craziness of New York City. I find myself actually in a really large internal conflict because videography is why I even got started. It's my first love, it's what I love doing. And so when I am trying to find that isolated moment, it's kind of ironic because I'm actually the one that's chaotic. I'm constantly looking around, you know, trying to find that one thing to shoot. And then I'm like, wait a second, am I shooting video or am I shooting a photo? It's hard to, you know, decide between the two. Shooting on a wide angle lens in many cases of photography is like one of the most helpful things in the world because most of the time when you're taking photos, you're on a street, you're you know, you see a giant building, you've got a landscape. This lens has really helped me out, like with the, you know, those cases, you know, whether I'm in a subway and I'm capturing a person just standing there by themselves on the, you know, waiting on the train or, you know, capturing someone crossing the street or even just like a really interesting building as the sun is setting and casting a nice shadow over it. Uh, those are some of the things that I've really liked about the 32 millimeter wide looking lens. The handling of the lens has actually been really one of the things I've liked about it. I'm able to, you know, at times keep it really close to my chest and, you know, kind of make some guesswork or even just, you know, just not look as, you know, noticeable in the public eye. You know, most people don't even really notice me because I'm just kind of moving with them. Um, but it's been one of the most helpful things. So one of the more interesting things I've noticed right off the bat, besides the, the brass of the lens, was the actual aperture ring. I was able to actually switch from the lowest aperture to the highest in a matter of seconds in just one click because it spins on a 360 you know, uh, diameter. Um, it's, it's really helpful, especially like if I'm you know, in the subways and it's you know, a bright day, so the moment I come outside, I'm like, oh shoot, I need to get this really quick. I can instantly go to F11. So even though the aperture ring clicks, you can actually do a really interesting thing. You can, you can put it halfway between each stop and get a really interesting vignette effect or even a light leak effect. Uh, it's one of the things I kept playing with, especially coming up to you know, storefronts and taking pictures of people behind the register. Or um, for instance, there was uh, a situation during uh, here in Times Square, I was actually shooting pictures of this protest. This lens actually flares in a very unique way. When you're, say, facing a, uh, a street lamp or the sun, you get this really interesting uh, circular light flare. Um, I actually came up behind a group of police officers and their police lights were shining through their shoulders and I got this really cool effect with this lens. Normally when I go out and take photos, I use a cine lens normally used in a video setting. One of the things I actually really liked about this is because the lens is actually all mechanical, so it felt as if I was able to transition very easily. You know, the, the focusing ring, there's no electronics on it. The, the aperture ring, you, you mainly turn that. Um, I really liked the fact that I was able to just transition from video to photo. I managed to stay inspired by just continually always finding things that might seem mundane to the normal eye, and I try to make that actually see more than it really is. I want to show the world that even simple things like something, you know, someone crossing a street or someone taking money out of a register, like those things to me are very mundane, but capturing it the way I do, I feel like I can continually be inspired and take simple things like that and make it extraordinary.